WA line caught fish is not always in the budget, but cooking it whole brings down the price dramatically and you get very little waste. Today, we're gonna to bake this whole snapper with a bunch of ingredients that I've got from my garden. So let's get started. First things first, we'll make a little bed for our fish. We're using Geraldton wax. Mainly you want the leaves. The flowers can be quite toxic. Then we can add a little bit of lemon myrtle. So this has the highest level of citrol of any citrus. So that's lemon, oranges, limes, anything. These are all herbs that I grow in my own garden, which is fantastic. Um, I got them all from Mark Tuckerbush, Tuckerbush Plants. Then we're gonna add a little onions. I reckon we should add a bit of this butter. This is a little flavored butter. I've got some lime uh, zest in here, a bit of white pepper and coriander root. So we're really gonna pack this with flavor. And I'm adding a native lemongrass, which again, just grows in a pot in the backyard of my house. And it might be time for a bit of chili. Okay, now it's time for the fish. Now this has been scaled and um, de-gutted and we just want to repeat some of those flavors inside and you can be pretty rough and ready with this it's probably why i like it add a little bit of garlic ginger and we want a little bit of butter inside as well so it's a little bit over the top, but that's like my personality. You can go as hard or as, as little as you like. It's just a matter of how much flavor you want to get in there. We're going to wrap this up nice and tight, and then we're going to pop it in the oven for about an hour. The moment of truth. Oh, yep. That is perfect. Finish with lemon. Fish loves lemon. And I've put it with a few of my favorite veggies, but it really will go with anything. If you've got a lot of leftover meat, just take it off the bone, keep it in the fridge and pop it through risottos or pastas for the next couple of days. It truly is the gift that keeps on giving. 